Okay, so welcome back to In the Kitchen with Jelly007.com. And tonight we're going to do one off of their website because it's not in any of my Ninja Foodie books. And it is Arroz con Leche or Mexican Rice Pudding. So, anyhow, you have to get it off their website. And I've described it a, cu described it a couple of times on their, uh, on, in, in a couple of my other videos. But there is what it looks like. And then here is what you need. And there is everything you need. If you want to, if you, you can either go to their website and you can see the URL right there, which is ninjakitchen.com slash backslash recipes. But you can do a screenshot of that too if you need to. And then here are the instructions. Right there is everything you do. So, and that's what we're about to do. Whoops. And we'll see how that works out. So you can get a screenshot of that if need be. Otherwise, what, what it calls for. Is uh, and, and one thing I'll say, I love rice pudding. I love rice, but I love rice pudding, and I've got, I've got a recipe for it on the on the Instapot that I did a few months ago, and uh, I do it quite different than this version, which is you know different, obviously, because it's a it's it's Mexican rice pudding. And what they do, and I I haven't tried it, but I feel positive it will be fantastic it's two cups of long grain rice and i'm going to use basmati it's my favorite rice so that's what i'm using uh six and a half cups of cold whole milk divided it says so it's going to want you to use that in two different places so to read further to find that out a half a cup of granulated sugar three strips of lime zest now i'm not positive what they mean by that so I'm going to zest this lime till I feel good about it. I don't know if they mean three strips. I'm not positive, but I, I know I'm, you can't mess up with something that simple. Three cinnamon sticks, a quarter, a quarter teaspoon of, of, uh, of kosher salt, and then three quarter can of sweetened condensed milk. Now, it, it wants 10 and a half ounces. It says three quarter can or 10 and a half ounces. Well, this is a 14 ounce can, so I guess that's what they mean. Of sweetened, condensed. I'm using Eagle Brand, so that's what that that's what that means. And then a uh, uh, ground cinnamon for garnish. Now, I may grind my own cinnamon with with my grind, but if I if I have any problem with that, I'm going to use this. So, anyhow, in the Ninja Foodie again, I, and it's you know you know my story on it. I love it. It's it's done great, and I have a feeling this recipe will do great also. So I'm gonna get some of that right there started, and then I'm gonna bring y'all back and uh, show y'all how it does. But y'all hang on just a second, and I will be right back. Okay, so what it wanted was six of those six and a half cups in with two cups of rice. And I'm using normal cups. If you've seen my other videos, sometimes rice measurements get a little, uh, well, they're confusing. So I'm using two, uh, what I call kitchen cups. And uh, I'm not raw, I'm not going to wash this rice. I want it starchy. So there goes two cups of rice. This is six cups of milk. Here's what I did to that lime. Now that's more than three. I don't know if what they were meant by three strips, but I did about a half of the lime, and uh, I zested it with one of these, by the way, which is a great device to have. I keep having to look back to see if you can see <laughs> what I'm showing you, but that's a great device to have because. Z lime or lemon zest really works. I know I, I, for a long time I rejected it, but it works. It, the half a cup of sugar I've already put in here. The only thing that, that's not in here, which it wanted the, the uh, sugar, the, 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 the salt, the lime zest, and three sticks of cinnamon. But I went ahead and added it, all that, where I could stir it up and get that sugar to melt because I think it needs to be you know, melt it into that milk before you pour it on here, because that's a, quite a lot of liquid. I mean, to be honest with you, that's a <clears throat> that's a good amount of liquid for two cups of rice, and I'm sure you know that. So, next step is to put these six cups. Oh my gosh, our six cups and or five and seven eighths of a cup, because I spilt a little bit of it right there. But it ain't no crisis. It ain't gonna matter, and I got it on my thing too. But anyhow. Put that there. We're going to turn it on. Going to go pressure high for two minutes. And then it wants you to do a 10-minute 
natural release. Now you got to seal it, of course. But after that two minutes is over, we do a 10 minute natural release. So when that's done, we'll let that go for 10 minutes and then we'll release the pressure and see what we got. But I'm looking forward to it and I'll be right back. Okay, so <clears throat> it's coming up on time to, not, to do nothing actually, but let it sit for 10 minutes. In other words, let this run down and start counting up. And then uh, that's called a natural release. In other words, you don't flip this lever and let the pressure off. But while y'all been gone, I've been grinding my own uh, cinnamon. And uh, honestly, it, it takes a little... I've never done it before. I've done it with uh, Parmesan, do it all the time. But you found out you don't do it like Parmesan. You don't just go at it. You kind of have to just drag it across it like this if you wanted to know and this is probably information you don't need to know because most people is going to use this right here and honestly i might also because i've got a few chunks in there and i'd have to run it through some kind of flour you know like you would do with flour and uh to to get those and there's not many but there's enough there that i may use it i don't know but long story short <laughs> is that you would need to screen it but anyhow, oops, wrong side. But like I said, you don't do it like Parmesan. But I think that's this is a lot better way to make uh, cinnamon. But anyhow, now you know. Be back when that time's out. Okay, so here's what I got. I mean, it's pretty good. And in fact, what fell inside, which is very little, but I did get some cinnamon. And uh, that I actually found this, but I kind of boneheaded that because... I found it, it was in the back, it had been there for a while. I thought, well, I'll rinse it off. Well, now it's wet. So I can't use it, but a flour sifter, I think would work perfect for that, but it doesn't matter. What we're after is uh, good Mexican uh, rice, uh, rice pudding. And obviously it's time to release the pressure and that's what I'm doing. And as soon as that's done, we'll open it up and we're gonna see how it looks. Be right back. Okay, that didn't last long because I had to do that. You know why? It was blowing milk everywhere. So, here's what it looks like behind there. It, it blew milk all over my bulldog. There's no doubt. It's everywhere. So, I'm not sure this is a valid recipe. Uh, it definitely caused a problem right there. And as soon as that bleeds down, I'll try and show you. Let's see how bad it's still blowing milk. Okay, that may have helped it, but look, here's what I mean. It was blowing it out. There's, it's a lot of, that's a lot of liquid, you know? And uh, I went by their directions. So, we're gonna open it up still in here in a minute and see how it looks, but I'm gonna clean that up a little bit before we do. You know what, I decided I'll clean it up later. Here's what it looks like. The pin just dropped. I haven't done anything to anything. I just, I don't know if you can see how bad it blew milk back here, but it was uh, spraying it up on a lot of stuff. It was spraying milk on my, uh, on my power device that I've ran down to keep a separate circuit. Long story short, let's see how it looks. That's all that matters right now. Okay, so it does look pretty good. Just not sure how you'd handle that uh, milk release. But that rice looks really good for what we're fixing to do to it. Now, it doesn't mention removing these sticks. I mean, I guess I am. I, I just can't imagine leaving them in there. But right now, what we're supposed to do, and we're going to go ahead and do it, because I ain't sure how you'd fix that. Because that, uh, that's, that won't work in most situations. But we're going to do what it says to do, which is add three quarter cans of, uh, and I gotta open it back up to make sure that's all it says. It says, uh, quick release, rain pressure, vent position, remove carefully, remove lid carefully, add sweetened condensed milk to the pot and stir to incorporate. And then we gotta select the sear saute function. So I'm gonna go forward just like nothing ever happened, although you can see it did. I'm going to leave. They didn't mention pulling those cinnamon sticks out, so I'm going to leave them. 
and it said uh I think it was three quarters of the can. I, I'd have to read that again, but you can see I, I left some in there. Now we're going to stir to incorporate. And the rice does look good. I mean, I'm, I, I, it, it looks excellent. It's just, there's too much foam, I'm sure, is what happens with that milk and the rice. And I agree. And maybe me rinsing the rice would have helped. I, I don't, I doubt it. But it may have. But I think it's the starch of the rice and then that milk foaming up while you're pressure cooking it just might be the uh might be the culprit of that because i mean really a lot of milk blew out it, it's everywhere i mean it's not everywhere i guess I sh i'm exaggerating that a little bit but uh, it's it's something it's not supposed to it shouldn't do that so i wanted you to see that so you'll know what to, how to handle it and uh let me get the camera set up a little bit better. I'm going to put that in the sink. And we're going to hit the saute button, like they said. And it's on high, and I think that's what it wants. I'm going to have to read it, honestly. I'm to set to medium. I'm wrong. All right, there's medium. And select starts for five minutes stirring frequently so that's what i'm about to do and uh i'm just going to stir it right now and then i'm going to keep going with that but i ain't gonna lie it looks excellent i can't wait to taste it but we're going to do the sir the the saute mode for these five minutes which i don't think it offers you a time on here it doesn't so i just got to track it right now it's uh it's 20 minutes till 11 at my house. So at, uh, at 15 till, I'll turn this off. But I'm going to stir frequently. Y'all can trust me. I'll be right back. Okay, so I found out why it says stir frequently. It's because even on medium, and you can see I'm on medium, it still gets super hot. So, so you're supposed to take this out. The next step is to move to a cool place, and I'm happy to do that because it, it's fairly hot. All right, then we've got to add a half a cup of milk. So, in all that commotion, I had to run around and find some things with all this going on. But what we've got to do now is add the half a cup of milk and stir that in. And then it says... Uh, I said, meaning blah blah blah. Carefully remove a heat, heat safe surface, stir in remaining milk, and allow to cool for 15 minutes. And that's going to give me the first breather I've had in the last five minutes. But I let it go for exactly five minutes, pretty close. And uh, like I said, there's an issue with that uh, milk foaming and coming out of the vent. So I got to clean my vent and my table. No big deal. It's just you want to you want to know that I would. So now I'm going to spill this. If I'm not careful. And it's sticking a little bit to the bottom of the pot, but not bad. It's just I think that uh, saute function is a little much. But anyhow, I'm not even sure it needed it. it. I guess that was to get rid of some of the liquids. But anyhow. I've already tasted it, quite honestly, and it is absolutely excellent. And uh, I may figure out a way to get around what happened, but I wanted you to know it. So, anyhow, there may be a way around it. There may be something you can do to stop that, but that's excellent, man. It tastes fantastic like it is. That's before I put the milk in it. So, and then I got the cinnamon, too, over here that, like I said, with a... Uh, a, a flour sifter you can grind your own and make this even even more special so i'm gonna let that cool for 15 minutes and right now it's well at at 11 o'clock we'll put some in a bowl be right be back at 11. okay so it's right at 15 minutes and i've been stirring it and it's a it's a little thick and it might not have needed that last saute function but you know something i don't know it didn't i can tell you this i've tasted it and it's absolutely fantastic it is a great flavor and uh 
I'm going to do it again to try and figure out, you know, if there's a way to do it without that milk foaming and causing that. So, but I mean, that's why I do this is to show y'all, you know, sometimes the recipes that, you know, and I followed it as far as I know to the T. You can look and make sure I didn't, but, or if I did, but the the end result's fantastic. I mean, if you wanted to use the same recipe I did, you would just have to uh, kind of be aware that the milk is probably going to foam and uh, possibly give you a, a little bit of a problem. I'm going to use my own ground cinnamon just because I can. <laughs> And I got to get a fork, but that, I think this is a, well, it's a, I know it's an excellent recipe. It's great. I mean, it tastes fantastic. Now, it's, it's a little spongy, but here's the other thing you're supposed to do. You serve it warm, and then you're, you, you are to put it in the refrigerator and serve it cold the next day. So, I mean, you're supposed to, you know, it's supposed to be eaten two different ways, I guess. But my opinion of it is... An excellent, I mean, I love rice pudding, and it's a little tighter than mine, but that don't make it wrong. I'm just saying it's, it's, not, it's not loose at all. I mean, almost like it needs some more milk. And I think, well, I don't know, because I've never made, a, what was it, a, a rose a con leche before, but... I've made plenty of rice puddings, and mine are normally looser. And, and, and I'm not sure that this is this should be or not, but just the main thing is when you make it, just be aware, be ready for that to happen in case it does to you too. But it was a simple cleanup. I'll be honest with you, it wasn't that big of a deal. I've already cleaned it out from here. I cleaned out the uh, uh, the, the, the table where it cleaned off the table where it blew. I had to I did take this apart And this is something I need to show one day. It's simple to do you have to take this off and then All you do is pull this straight up and you pull this straight off and clean this vent because that's where your air goes out That's where your steam goes out and this same way you have to make sure it works properly too you have to do that after especially after something like that happens because uh if, if that sticks, it's not good. It's not going to work right, if mainly. I doubt very seriously anything bad would happen. I, I think they've, they've got so many safety features on these now that it would shut itself down when it realizes the pressure's over what it should be. But you still want to know how to do it. And uh, I'm going to show it right quick because that happened and I'm going to post this video. But that right there just goes... All I did was pull up on that. You can, might have to get you know, a knife or something, but... You just got to pop it loose. That's all it does. It snaps down just like that. And then you can rinse through that hole that comes out right here. And you can clean that out real well. You know, you don't want milk or anything in there or any anything. It doesn't matter what it is. You don't want it in there. Now, it's not completely clean. I got to do it again. I had stuff on my hands when I touched it. And then this right here, it's as simple as this. You just take it and you pull it off. So... It's got a retainer spring right here that holds it captive once you set it down. And and really, you just do that. And I've also got the seal off. And the seal's easy to remove also. I'm going to get further than I meant to. I need to do a video on this one day. But this just goes around that steel ring. So you can remove it and clean behind it. And you can see I haven't done that well yet. but And none of it now that I've had my hands on it. I'm going to clean it again. I'm going to pull this back off. Blah, blah, blah. But... That is this, and you want to make sure that works, and you want to make sure that works, which is all I'm doing is hitting that. So, <laughs> getting a little further than that than I meant to. But the, the recipe is an excellent recipe. If nothing else, do it in a, you know, I guess I'd have to test that, but I think you could do it in a rice cooker or something. But a lot of the recipes I saw didn't call for milk in the beginning. Some of them do, some of them don't. But that one works great. I'm not complaining about the recipe. I love rice pudding. And that's an excellent one. It really is. And I mean, it tastes, again, fantastic. And the rice is cooked perfect. The rice, there's nothing wrong for rice. In, in rice pudding, you don't want uh, fluffy rice. You want it to be uh, starchy and stuck together. So, 
All that being said, and here's the other thing. Go, go find this website for recipes. And uh, it's a great one. There's nothing wrong with it. It's, it's better than the books. People talk about they don't have their book. Well, that's way better than the book. It's got more than the books I have. 116 or 121 or something. I just saw a new number. They're adding them. So, In the Kitchen with Jelly. That's jelly007.com, by the way. But anyhow, y'all come back to see me. I really, I really, really appreciate you watching my videos. And I want to show things like this. That's why I'm doing this, you know, to show, you know, things can go wrong uh, with the recipe, with anybody's recipes. It, it's, not a, it's not an exact science. So, there's what happens in my case when you do ninjas, uh, arroz con leche. So, anyhow, y'all have a good night. Thanks for watching. Come back to see me. Like, share, subscribe, all of the above, and good night.